There is a woman online. I forget her name. Non-Muslim. She's still not a Muslim. Allah will bring her. Amen. She is a magician, according to her. What does she do? Black magic. And all sorts of casting of spells and so on for people. I want to tell you, it is prohibited as a believer to cast a spell. Man sahara faqad ashrak. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, whoever casts a spell has associated partners with Allah. They've engaged in the highest possible sin. That's it. You're not allowed to do that. Another thing, if you go to someone to do that for you, it's the same thing. A lot of people go nowadays to, what do they call him? Bomo. Wow. These bomos will bomo your whole life. And the first thing they bomb is your iman. It is bomot. Don't. By you going to them, you lost your faith. Remember, you have to repeat your shahada. Wallahi, it's not a joke. Man ata arrafan aw kahinan fasaddaqahu bima akhbar faqad kafara ala bima unzila ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whoever goes to a soothsayer, fortune teller, etc., etc., those people who do this type of thing, believes them regarding what they are saying, has disbelieved in what Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought. Disbelief. So, you've been there, say your shahada again. Start afresh. Don't ever, don't ever have the urge to go and cast a spell, to go to someone, or to cast a spell yourself, or to learn about it, Harry Potter, or whatever else it may be. <laughs> You're a believer. This lady was asked a question, and the interview is online, it's on YouTube, you can go and search it. Is there ever... People you try to cast a spell on and you can't, it's difficult. She said, yes, there is. Tell us about it. She says, the Muslims who pray five times a day. And this is a non-Muslim. What did she say? She said, the Muslims who are steadfast, it's as though they have a dome of protection around them. Wallahi, these are her words. When I heard it, I said, subhanallah, I forwarded that message, that video to so many people. Here's a lady sitting in an interview, telling the interviewer about how she casts spells. And it's a long interview, one and a half hours, I think. And inside, there's a five minutes where she speaks about this question. Is there ever a time when you can't really do this? You can't cast a spell? She said, yes, those who believe. Why? She said, you know what? The Muslims... They pray so many times a day, there's actually like a dome around them. She calls it the agrigo. The, the agrigo is very, very high. You can't really hit them. What happened? It's Ayatul Kursi, my brothers, my sisters. I believe in Allah. It's Ayatul Kursi. And it's the Mu'awwidat, the last few surahs of the Quran. Are we not taught to read it in the morning and the evening? The disbelievers are bearing witness. That it's more difficult to influence a person if he keeps his thoughts in purity. Yes, absolutely. When faced with various religions, it is very difficult to influence Muslims. They are in a constant connection with the aggregor. They do namaz every day and read prayers on a daily basis. They are constantly under some kind of a dome, so it is very difficult to influence them. When you start impacting a person, he begins to address in a prayer. Indeed, many of them are very different from those who come to church only when everything is bad in their life. They come to pray and then for five years they forget about God, some canons, and so on. Muslims, as a rule, passionately believe and passionately give energy to their aggregor. And this aggregor protects them very well. That's why it is very difficult to work to make any kind of influence on a true Muslim believer. Is this some kind of a good aggregor? Well, for them, yes. This aggregor is good for adepts who contribute good energy to it. How do you sense it? For instance, you have found an energy trace of such person. What's next? Do you try to drag him somehow to visualize this threat and you fail? Or how do you do that? It disappears. I cannot get a grip on it. I focus on it, but something immediately knocks me out of the flow, just like that. Or I visualize a person in front of me clearly 
clearly and can affect him even at a mental level, but some image is not created in my mind at all. I even look at a photo, reproduce an image, but it vanishes from my mind. Thus, I can clearly see that a person is covered with something. Does this only work with Muslims? It does for me. Nowadays, there are very few people among Christians who truly believe. Even those who write in their comments that God is in the soul, that they are all faithful believers, but in reality they are not. Even most often they write that all this is a sin, but then ask in a private message how to make a robin spell. Such cases also happen. A robin spell? A robin spell. What is it? It means 